Hey everyone, Mike Burke here with InsideRealEstatePhotography.com and in this video, we're gonna go over how to add property lines to your real estate videos in Final Cut Pro. All right, so I touched on this topic in the last video I posted about why I switched to Final Cut Pro for my real estate video editing. And in that video, I had a shot where the property gets outlined with a property outline. And I had a lot of people asking me how that was done. So I thought that'd be a great topic for this video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I achieved that property outline effect using a couple plugins in Final Cut Pro. Unfortunately, these plugins are only available for Final Cut Pro. So if you use another editing platform, it's not gonna work for you, at least using these plugins. I'm sure there's other ways to do it but they're not gonna be as easy as this. It's actually pretty easy, which is cool. Again, this is one of the reasons why I switched to Final Cut Pro because there's such a wide array of high quality assets out there available for it, such as these plugins, etc. And it's really helped me personally up the level of quality of my real estate videos that I've been putting out lately. All right, so without further ado, let's jump in and I'll show you how this is done. Before we continue on with this video, I just wanna share a quick word about our sponsor, Pixelmob. Are you looking for a professional real estate photo editor to help lighten your workload? Are you having a hard time finding a good and reliable editor or don't even know where to look for one? Or maybe you just personally struggle with editing and can't seem to achieve the professional end result that you've been looking for? If any of this sounds like you, you should definitely check out Pixelmob. Pixelmob helps take the guesswork out of finding a reputable editor and connects you with the right people to do the job. Pixelmob is an awesome website that links you up with available editors capable of doing just about any sort of real estate photo editing you can imagine, including HDR blending, flambient, virtual staging, object removal, etc. The best part of all is that Pixelmob vets all the editors prior to allowing them onto their platform to ensure that they can indeed deliver on what they say they can. I also really like that there's a peer review system where photographers can rate the editors from one to five stars, giving you further tools and helping you choose the best editor to work with for your particular job. The editor also does not get paid until you are satisfied with your order. If you've ever been in the search for an editor and tried a few out, then you know full well there's been a, such a sore need for something like Pixelmob in our industry, and I really think a lot of us real estate photographers can benefit from this service. It's completely free to sign up, and if you use my link, pixelmob.com IREP, you will receive $5 in credit towards your first order, so there's no reason to at least not give it a try. You'll also find that link down in the description of this video. All right, so first things first, let's talk about the plugins you need for this. They're made by a company called Motion VFX, you can see here. They make some really awesome plugins for Final Cut Pro. They make plugins for Premiere and DaVinci as well, but mainly for Final Cut. These plugins are not available for Premiere or DaVinci. Uh, so yeah, it's just available for Final Cut, as you can see here. So you need this M Tracker 3D area, as you can see, it's already doing the preview on the screen of what it does. So you can see how it outlines certain things and etc. But you also need this one as well, M Tracker 3D. So you, this is the base plugin that you need that it, it works off of. So you need M Tracker 3D and also M Tracker 3D area. I'll provide direct links to these two plugins down in the description below, so check that out. All right, so here in Final Cut Pro, you can see I imported a drone clip here for this example. You're always gonna wanna use a, an aerial shot of some kind, that's really what this is for. So uh, this is pretty simple you know, property here. You don't really need property lines for this, it's pretty obvious what the property is. It's a pretty tight together neighborhood, but this is the clip I had on hand and it will serve just fine for this example. You can see it kind of rotates as it ascends. So this is actually a cool clip to use for this because it's spinning in addition to ascending. So there's you know a lot of movement going on here. So it'll really put this plug into the test. So you can see how well it actually tracks all this movement. And it, it does a really good job usually, and it's really impressive. All right, so how we get this going is if we go to effects here, you'll see effects button here, and then it'll bring up your effects. And you can just scroll down after you install the plugin, you'll see M Tracker 3D here. So you can just grab that and I'll just drag this over and drop it on our clip. And you'll see here in the inspector, if you don't see that, it should pop up automatically, but you can click on this little film strip here and this is like the inspector window or whatever. So you just hit the button track and you'll see here it's analyzing the frames and tracking the motion of the clip and mapping it out. So we just gotta wait till this finishes. It's usually pretty quick. All right, so now once it's finished tracking, we're gonna copy the track here. So I'll just hit this blue button, copy track. And now we wanna add the other plugin slash effect, the M Tracker 3D area. So if we go up here to titles, 
I know it's kind of weird in Final Cut, some of the titles, or some of the effects rather, are located under titles. It's kind of weird. It, you know, took me a minute to wrap my head around that, but uh, it is what it is. I don't know why it is like that, but whatever. If you scroll down after you install the plugin, you'll see M Tracker 3D area here. And it gives you all these options of different ones. So you can see, you know, it's like a dotted line. This one has like lines in the middle. This one has like a grid. You know, there's like a bunch of different options here. And these are highly customizable too. So you can pretty much change any elements that are involved in each one of these. My go-to almost every time is this 06 one, M Tracker 3D Area 06. So I'm just gonna grab this and drag it into our timeline above our clip. So now we have this above our clip and what we need to do is just extend this out. So it covers the entire area of our clip. And now if I highlight this and then go to our titles, you know, inspector window here, you'll see the option to paste track. So we copied the track from M Tracker 3D. Now we want to paste it here. So I'm just going to hit paste and you'll see tracking data was saved successfully done. So I'll hit OK. So now what we need to do is add points. You'll see now on our screen when you move the cursor around these the arrows and stuff. And now we could add points to this and basically draw out our property outline. So, you know, I'm assuming the property kind of just goes up like this to here. So I'm going to click there for and add our first point. And I'll click down here and add our second point. And then you can see the fence back here. So that's the property line. So I'm just going to click here, add another point there, add that point there, and then just click on the first one again to close it out. And now we have these lines. You can't really, see, you can't see anything yet because I know this gets confusing. I've gotten confused on this a couple times while doing this. Is like, where is it? And you think it's not there, but you got to scroll further along into the clip, and you can see now once it once it formulates or whatever, it's there, and you can see it's tracking perfectly as it, the camera spins and goes up. It's perfectly tracking. It's not it's not moving off or you know getting off track at all but it's hardly visible as you can see so we need to mess with some of the parameters here to uh, get it to where we want it to be so i'm just going to park my uh, playhead somewhere like in the middle here so we can see actually see it on screen and then if we go back here to inspector under the title inspector here and uh, i'm going to go to line settings so if i click this little arrow and get this drop down here you'll see all these settings you can change. So right now it's like a dashed line. It's very thin for one thing. So first things first, let's uh, you know increase the line width. So you can see it's getting bolder now. So you can actually see it. So I'm gonna want it somewhere around there. So I actually like a solid line look, not a dashed line. So I'm going to grab the gap length and just increase or decrease it should I say to zero and you'll see now we have a solid line that goes around which is cool and that's what I want so here we have line animation and this is how it animates in and right now it's grow so if we go back to the beginning here and and you, you see it's like basically growing out from the points into dashes and continuing on to a solid line that's not what I want I want it to kind of you know, outline the property. So if you go under line animation, there's actually a uh, outline option. So I'm gonna click on that. All right, so now you can see after selecting outline, if I play it, it's drawing an outline around the property and that's what I want it to do. And if you go to the end, you'll see like it animates out by like, you know, drawing the outline out and you can change those things. So you can have, you know, you see in animation, is checked on and out animation. So if you didn't want it to animate out, for instance, you can uncheck this or, you know, and, and the duration here. So like, it is a little fast maybe, you know, so let's slow it down, you know, bring it up to maybe whatever, 2.38, whatever. And see, see, you know, you can see now it's going much slower. So you can change the duration, you know, how fast, you know, how fast it draws itself in. 
And of course, there's a bunch of other parameters here, shadow and stuff. But the other thing I want to talk about, so like there's there's a sheen like fill layer here that's over top of it. I, I like it. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe you just want the line. But uh, if you go down here to fill settings, if you go all the way down, you could add labels too. You could add like text along it too. If you wanted to like saying you know one acre property or something you could add text to it by adding labels here so that's really cool but if you scan down at the bottom here you'll see fill settings uh, you know this fill is pretty uh, you know subtle I like it but uh, you know you can um, turn it on or off or change how it comes in it's just fading in right now and I actually like everything that it's doing here. I just wanted to show you that you can, you know, come down here and manipulate that. Like if I come here and disable this clip, you can see what I'm talking about here. There's sort of like a, a gradient here in the corners. That's what I'm talking about. That's the fill layer. So that's really it on how to do this. Obviously you can see it's pretty easy and straightforward. These plugins at least make it very easy. Otherwise it would be a nightmare to try to do in like After Effects or something like that. I, I, there's tracking things in there too. So, but like this is just tailor made for this and like such a perfect plugin for real estate videos. I mean, come on, like this is such an awesome thing to have. You know, there's gonna be times where this comes in handy. I throw it into a lot of my real estate videos. It's such a cool plugin. All right guys, so that's about it for this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Again, I'll put direct links to these plugins down in the description below. Also, if you want to follow along with my work and my real estate videos that I'm putting out there to see how I'm utilizing this stuff, please follow me on Instagram at Burke Multimedia. Also take a look down in the description below. There's a bunch of other great stuff down there too. A link to our sponsor, Pixel Mob, if you're looking for an editor. Also editing practice packs, a sky replacement pack that I've created, Photoshop actions and presets, a bunch of great stuff down there, great assets. So check that out as well. Thank you again so much for watching this video and I'll see you again soon on the next one.